I remember um, David sort of sending me a draft of the script and I thought, wow, this would be really cool to do. Even uh, to do a small part of it, um, the, the scope of the story and the journey that the characters go on. And then to be offered the role, I was over the moon and a little bit sort of uh, apprehensive because uh, we'd worked previously on a short film together and uh, to take it to a feature length story and to make sure I was able to map the journey of a character and for the, the audience to be able to trust me that was making the right decisions that was sort of a, a big part of it but I was extremely excited and uh, uh, really excited to work with David again and work with the crew and to go off to Wales and, and do it all together. It was definitely a huge step up for me to be trusted to take on this character and to to take the audience with me on this on this journey through the film um, but like I think the excitement to do it sort of overpowered all the other feelings and to be handed a character that goes on such an extreme journey was like you know I saw it as just this incredible opportunity to really dive in deep and to show my sensibility in the acting and also the physical nature of it and to try and show this journey from you know like I said this guy who starts wearing a tie and by the end is shirtless and bloody and you know, like, like how do you actually map that journey and that was like this ex really really exciting challenge um, but I think you know the, the fact that uh, David was leading the charge and as a writer director I could I could pick his brains about the story and I could really, we could have proper discussions about the script and how the story plays out and how, you know, the character goes from point A to point B, like what is the actual process of that? Um, that was really invaluable really because I think uh, taking on a project of this scale but not having the access to the writer in the way that I did because David's the writer director, that allowed me to really uh, sort of get into the nitty gritty of the character and how this was going to play out across 90 minutes. Um, yeah. Chris, thank you for following the breadcrumbs. I knew you'd be the one to find them. Now, listen to my voice. My breathing is steady. I sound fully conscious. I'm not what you all think I am. If you look through our findings, you'll see that we'd found sites, out of the way places to perform their depravities. We looked wherever there were reports of overindulgent murders, anything ritualistic. And we found lots of them. We realized we'd walked into their trap. They were tracking us. Are you burdened with religion, Mr. Duffy? Do you know why he doesn't answer our prayers? He's scared, terrified, of waking something far older than him. He knows that by helping us, it would notice him. You see, your God is a coward. It answers me when I call. It listens. It tells me when it wakes, I will be rewarded for my devotion. And when it makes this world drown. I won't offer my hand to save any of you.
It's a story of a, a young man called Chris Rivers who ventures into the depths of Wales in order to investigate the suspected suicide of his friend Billy. And uh, as the details emerge and as these mysterious clues are found, it's clear that not everything is as it seems and there's a much darker reality at play.